In this video, I'm going to show you how to get an input from the user, how to get an integer input from the user. So what you do, you first need a variable inside of your data. So I'm going to say my var and I'm going to choose D word because it's the easiest way to get integer from the user. And after that, because I don't know what the value is, I'm going to put a question mark here. That means I don't know the value. After that, I want to have a prompt from the user. I want to prompt the user to enter an input. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say prompt. This is going to be byte. And I'm going to ask the user to enter an integer. Please enter an integer. And then to move my prompt inside of EDX and put the offset. Prompt call write string. So what I do here, I call read int if my user is going to give me positive or negative value, or I can say call read deck if I just want the value and I don't care about the sign of the integer. Right now we're going to use call read int. And whatever the user is going to give me, it's going to go inside of EAX register. And when I want to save my variable inside of my var, I have to move my var and I'm gonna move EAX inside of it and since my var is a D word I can easily do that so then I can Again, to make sure that my var actually have that value, I can move, let's do this. I'm gonna say result byte, this is your value. Set result and I'm going to call write string so we will display that and then I'm going to move my war inside of EA. Sorry, I'm going to move. EAX and I'm going to move my var inside of it then call read int write int because we're going to display okay let's go line by line and see what happened we have three types of data I have my var d word which the value I don't know I have prompt which is saying please enter an integer and I have result which is saying this is your value. Okay. And then I'm going to my main. Inside of my main I move the prompt inside of my EDX because if I want to display anything, any string, I have to move it inside of EDX and then I will call write string on it. So it will display whatever inside of EDX on the screen. And I will say call read int. Read int will get the user input and store it inside of EAX. 
and then I move EAX inside of my bar always the destination have to come first so I move EAX inside of my bar and then after that I move the results inside of EDX so I can display the, uh, this message which is saying this is your value and after that I will move my war inside of EAX again to make sure that inside of EAX I have my value and call write int. Since I haven't changed my EAX at all, it doesn't really matter. Even if I don't have this line of code, it doesn't really matter. But then I will call write int, which is going to display my number with its sign. So this time we're going to do it with a negative number. I'm going to build solution. Debug, start without debugging. Okay, please enter an integer. I'm going to enter minus 3. And then it says this is your value, negative 3. Now let's see what happens if instead of call right int, I say call right deck. So if I put minus 5, I'm going to get a wrong number. So we have to use right and whenever the number, whenever your user is giving you positive or negative number, you want to make sure that you're getting, um, you're getting a positive number. Otherwise it won't display. Okay, so now I'm going to use five and this is my value five. 